What up? Top of the top. What's popping? What's cracking? What's good? What up, y'all? What's, what's up? Back at it again. Episode 368. I'm very, very happy to see y'all this morning. I'm feeling good. Hopefully, everybody feeling good. Hopefully, everything is, is coming together in your life. Told you, in my opinion, 2023 is going to be a very important year in history, in my opinion. There's a lot of things unfolding. I'm going to talk about it. I had, it look, it took me a little while this minute. Um, it took me a little minute this morning because I had to prep. I had so much stuff, I couldn't even load it all up. But I'm going to get into it today with some of the things that I've been seeing surfacing from this Grammy ceremony. But... Y'all know how I do. I'm going to show you what it means. In my opinion, I'm going to show you what I've been telling you for over a year about the spiritual warfare. And I'm going to show and prove to you a lot of things that you've been lied to about. How you've been deceived. How you stuck in shambles. But the people that are on the right side, the people that know what's going on. I'm going to prove how you the ones that straight out here. But anyway, we're going to talk about it today. And I'm going to get into some other stuff. Y'all know how I do. Welcome to the show. We here. What up, A? What up, my guy? Good morning, Shayla. Good morning, Miss Jackie. Good morning. Good morning, Taisha. Holly Selassie. What's going on, brethren? Good to see you. Yeah, we're going to talk about it today. Yeah, I'm going to tell you like this. If you're a demon, you ain't going to be able to stay around anyway today. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm getting into some real shit today. If you in your feelings... If you're emotional, you need to go ahead and get up out of here right now. I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't care about how nobody feel about nothing. I'm going to say what I got to say. Because, look, I told you it's spiritual warfare. So if I see what's going on and I be quiet, I might as well go ahead and join the lodge and take an oath. I might as well. <laughs> you feel me? Because I understand what's going on. Because I got eyes to see, ears to hear, and I see what's going on. I see a people that is lost, and they being led to a dumpster. All right? Good morning. Who else up there? I see y'all sliding in here. Good morning, Don Ray. What's popping, Wax Doll? Salute. Make sure y'all subscribe to Wax Doll, the most hated on YouTube. You feel me? Big Phil, what up? 41 Rider. Yeah, y'all. We're going to get into it. I'm going to holler at y'all in a few. Y'all already know how I do. Chris Miller, what's up? But look, let me get into it today, y'all, because y'all been waiting long enough. But I told you, if I don't come on before nine, I ain't coming on. So you all always know that. Check it out, though. We're going to get into it today because like, I got I got a lot of stuff I got to break down today. We going to take a look at what's going on. But only those who got their glasses on going to be able to comprehend. So let's get into the show. God did not frauds false idols false prophets the ones who hold a microphone that rock the crowd but the whole time they rocking the crowd <laughs> to nowhere these are the ones paid to lead your ass astray matter of fact they ain't lead you astray they already led us astray they have been paid by the people that don't like us and they have fulfilled a lot of their jobs. That's why I told you, you want to get a Grammy, you want to get an award when you do a good job for them. You got to understand, I'm going to break that down. I done showed y'all before, but some people still hard-headed. I done showed you who the God of music was. I showed you the God they worship. Now we're going to look into it again. I'm going to bring it up to date because I've seen some blasphemous behavior. But this blasphemous behavior, what it's been doing? It's been putting curses on the people. That's why the people are fucked up right now. And that's why nobody's coming to save you. I'm also going to talk about how yesterday a big event happened that nobody probably paid attention to. It was the State of the Union addressed by Joe Biden. You know, the man that holds the fate of America in his hand. Well, he was talking yesterday and some things happened. I'm also going to talk about LeBron James breaking an all-time scoring record. All of these things are concurring in 23. I'm going to show you and prove it to you. What's up, Shane? I see y'all sliding in here. What's up, Malaya? What's good, y'all? Look, we're going to talk about it today, y'all. I see all the smart people here today. Now, let's get into it. Mr. Fraud himself. The fraudest of all frauds. 
the greatest deceiver of all time. The greatest sellout of all time. The one that said after Grammys, but he was dead. Because I told you, we in a time where they all got to show their true colors. See? God got his people. Satan got his people. See? God wants his people to do what they're supposed to do. And Satan wants his people to do what they're supposed to do. That's why I told you, when they, when, when everything had to get locked down, see, a lot of Satan's minions wasn't moving accordingly, so they had to get their ass sat down. And they had to get put back in position. That's when you started to see their immortality, their gray hairs. You started seeing that they was really less of human beings trapped in their house. But now that the master, their master, said it's time for them to unleash, you've been seeing them making themselves known right in your face. But like I said, the people that don't know, you just ain't going to get it. You're not going to get it at all. Now, I'm going to show you how he's the greatest deceiver of all time. But you already know that. First thing, when he started calling himself Jehovah, that alone was blasphemy. Let me say this, too. I'm not no religious man. I'm not aligned with no religion. I told you, I'm a nobody. But at the end of the day, when people tell a straight lies to the people, especially my people, I'm going to say something because I know better. Now, look, this dude is the greatest deceiver of all time. Claim to fame, Marcy Projects, Brooklyn, drug dealer. That's his claim to fame, all right? Made a lot of albums, jacked a lot of styles, used a lot of people, kicked people to the curb. He is the number one example of what, y'all? A leech. What else? A user, a moocher, a person. Oh, you know how they told us how back in the slave, they say how master and them stole our ideas. Well, he's the master of stealing ideas, right? So if you don't know that, you're just a damn fool. But anyway, it's up. See, look, all of the people that follow these people, it's a place that they got a place for you. So ready, prepared. Now, I'm going to show you all something, man, the greatest fraud of all time. Now, this is not just about him. This is about a couple things. We seen them rapping at the table like they was having the last supper. But like I asked my people yesterday, if they was if they were uh, reenacting the Last Supper, the question is, who's about to die? Because remember, at the original Last Supper, somebody was about to die. If you remember that, but after this Last Supper, who's supposed to die? Is it just us? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show y'all. How these dudes are blasphemous. Then, I, then you notice all of them had on all black, right? But we know black is a color. Black is dominant. Black does not mean evil. Let's, let's get one thing clear. The most high created color. The thing is, they jacked his colors. And they said this color mean that. This color mean that. See, they gave their own meaning of colors. The rainbow, or the, uh, uh, the rainbow was originally the arc. One of the arcs. Well, allegedly, the Most High said that he would not flood man again, and the sign was the rainbow. But what they do, they jacked the rainbow. They jacked everything and gave it their own meaning. So that's why you got to understand that they say the devil is the most cunning, slickest, craftiest deceiver of them all. And many people shall be deceived, which they are right now. But look, we want to show you. Shout out to the nation of gods on earth. Shout out to the people that's righteous. Shout out to the people that know that what? The saying is, he likes the devil because the devil gives him nothing. Who is that? Who loves the devil because the devil gives them nothing? I think that's black people. I think that's melanated people right now. Black, brown, whatever you want to call it. It's a certain set of people that like people that don't give them shit. And they worship them. <laughs> the same people that gave you music and all this shit, but now it ain't give you nothing. And I'm going to show you. So you can brag about how this one a billionaire, that one a billionaire. Like somebody said, I wish I had a billion dollars. I wish I was irrelevant with two billion. I bet you was. <laughs> but you gonna, I'm going to show you how they got money and they still irrelevant. And they got bosses. And they got to move accordingly or they ass is over with. Another thing I'm going to show you that nobody spoke about how Beyonce got beat out for the album of the year. Nobody was talking about that. And I'm going to show you how they've been losing their power. They already lost it. Now they ain't nothing but puppets. You feel me? What's up, Melanie? What's up, Tali? Good morning, Rondell. All right, now let's get into it, man. Because like I said, I'm about to get into this thing, man. 
They're supposed to be gods. But like I said, you notice they all got, they made sure they were black. They made sure they showed their allegiance to the dark side. They showed, they make sure they showed you their allegiance to the Grim Reaper. <laughs> anything dealing with death, anything dealing with opposition, they are showing you what, what they're working with and who they are right now. They're showing you. What else they showed you? More blasphemous behavior. See? But everybody get, been giving him a pass with that too. I don't care if he's been talking about Hebrew out of his mouth. That's a trick. Don't you understand that? They, gonna, they understand that they're going to worship one thing over here and then say something else out their mouth because you were told that they talk with twisted tongues. They have two tongues, just like a serpent. But y'all don't get it. But I'm going to show y'all something today. I'm going to show you once again how music... Salute Tali for supporting the channel. I'm on one this. I'm on one today, but I'm gonna try to stay focused. Now check this out. I gotta keep repeating it over and over again. I don't really have to, but I do it because it's fun. I'm gonna show you that everything your people do it starts from the higher ups. America is Rome. It is Greece. I told you they switched up the empires. Just like now we're going into a new world of what? Artificial intelligence. Once again, they're going to switch the empire. They're going to switch the whole mode. But I'm going to show you how all of this stuff been going, all of this music. I'm going to show you where it come from. Music. I, I, I showed you before. I'm going to show you they God. I'm going to show you when they say, I want to thank God. When they point in the sky, I'm going to show you who they point to. Then I'm going to show you how your own people embrace the culture and then spread it amongst you because they got a job to do. Blasphemous behavior. Blasphemy simply means playing with God, going against God, going against the Most High and his people, going against the grain, disrespecting. Let me show y'all something. We're going, we're going to get into it today. Now let me show y'all something for you non-believers. But then I don't care if you don't believe. I'm just, I'm just here to bust your bubble. Because when we talk about culture vulture, I'm going to show you how we're the number one jackets of people culture and indulging in this shit. Because this is Greek Roman behavior that has went too far. Okay, I got a question for you. Who are the people that slayed? Who are the people that so-called slayed? Uh, Yahshua, Jesus, whatever you want to call them. Who's the one that so-called slayed Jesus? Was it the so-called Rome? I think it was the Romans. I think. I don't remember, though. It might have been the Romans. All right, well, anyway, back to the show. Is there a Roman god of music? Apollo was the Roman god who inspired prophecy, poetry, music, and medicine. Did I not show y'all this already? Now you see. I'm just getting started. Now you see why every entertainer has to go to, to the Apollo when you're at a certain level, you have to go to the Apollo Theater. You didn't, you didn't understand that yet? It's been going on since the beginning. You have to pay homage to Apollo. That is the god of music. That is not the most high. It has nothing to do with that. So, yes, hip-hop and rap started on some original stuff. But you got to remember, it was Greek and Romans around when it started. Who was the Greek and Roman that was around? Man, a nigga named Bam Bottom. What was he doing? Man, they was playing with little kids and stuff like that. Man, that was Roman behavior. But it was in round of hip-hop in the beginning. I'm not going to keep saying this shit. I'm going to show you. Because some people don't want to fucking grow up in the mind, right? And they don't understand this shit. That what? It's just entertainment. That's it. What is Apollo? The god of music. Apollo was the Olympian god of prophecy and oracles. M magic, music, song, and poetry. Archery, healing. Archery will be considered guns now, basically healing, plague, and disease. Oh, you mean C-19, RSV, stuff like, oh, okay, anyway. And the protection of the young. He was depicted as a handsome, beardless youth with long hair. Hold up. Hold up, man. Let me get this out the way. Let me move this banner. All right, now check it out. He was depicted as a handsome, beardless youth with long hair and attributes such as a reef and a branch of laurel, bow and quiver of arrows, raven and lyre. Keep that I want you to see right here. The attributes of Apollo is what? The reef. 
But a lot of y'all don't know what a reef is. What's a damn reef? That's what was worn by the Romans. That's a reef around his head. But you thought it was a crown of thorns. But what it is, they play games. They they play games. Now let me let me fast forward to show you something. What is this? Reefs. What is a reef? A crown worn by who? Romans, Greeks. A reef. Apollo. Apollo. A reef. Roman culture. See that? Who slayed the most? Uh, who slayed the most high son? Something like that. It was the Romans, right? Now you see why this is blasphemous behavior at the Grammys. But, but this is my point, though. I'm going to show you how crafty the powers that be are. See, the powers that be understand you don't play with certain things. That's why you'll never see no white people playing these games. Whether they believe in, in uh, Christianity or not, they ain't going to play with religion. Who's the number one people that play with religion? I'll wait. See? That's why I told you everything foul, they put it on a black face. When you want to defile the most high, you put it on up. You let the black people, let them do it. And I'm going to tell you right now, all of these dudes right here have been playing with them spirits for so long. Watch how this shit going to start backfiring them in the next couple of years. I, I, I'm willing to bet my right arm on that because I'm going to show you. Little do you know, see, the Grammys just used them to get it popping. See, they already knew that black people wasn't watching the Grammys no more. They already knew he wasn't into that shit no more. So what did they do to get you back into the Grammys? They went and got all your icons. And then you got tapped back in because the icons are the symbols that you follow. They are the avatars that you follow. And therefore, wherever these icons appear, you shall follow and you shall bow down and worship. That's why most people was watching and bowing down to the Grammys. But see, they just tricked them to come because <laughs> Beyonce didn't get album of the year. But they knew the Grammys would not be as great of a spectacular event unless certain people's name was on it. So that's the game they played. But I'm not finished yet. And I'm going to show you. It's going to be a day when them powers that be going to wash their hands of these people, especially that man in the middle, especially that boy by the name of Sean Carter. They're going to get him real good because I'm starting to see it already. Anyway, Apollo is one of the Olympian deities in classical Greek and Roman religion and Greek and Roman mythology. The national divinity of the Greeks, Apollo, has been recognized as a god of archery. Stop right there. You ask any Greek in a fraternity or sorority if they worship Apollo and tell me what they're going to tell you. Huh? Ask them about it. They all know about Apollo. They know about all the Roman and Greek gods and ask them which one do they worship. <laughs> but it's mighty funny that most of them are already in the church. And most of them are the main ones always talking about God. It's been spells cast on the community. Spells. Spells of death. Now, it was a time when the so-called righteous people would have had a fit over this. But see, when they get away with stuff like this, this is how they know the people are already dead. And we know for a fact that most of the so-called real Christians, like who y'all, our grandmothers, most of them already dead. So that's why they're able to pull a lot of this stuff off too. But like I showed you, that is that crown that you think is the crown of thorns, that was a that was a mockery the whole time. But my point is that is the reef. The reef is the crown of the king worn or the crown worn by the king but represents Apollo. Because the king is the one considered to be placed in authority over the people by God. But the God that uh, 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 the God that puts the king in power is Apollo. So now you see why Jay-Z was calling himself the king of New York, the king of this, and Jehovah blasphemy. I got another question for y'all. This is what you got to ask. I'm going to ask you a simple question I asked my people last night. If everything in the scriptures is fake, if everything in a book is a lie, why do they go so hard to always mimic the Bible, clown the Bible? Why everything they do has to has a piece of the Bible or history? Did you figure that out yet? Why do they always have to counter what's written already? Why do they always have to give you visuals that are religious? Why? 
remember that one time what remember that one time Nicki Minaj did the uh Grammys and she went as a Catholic priest and had the Pope and all them remember the question is why okay let's use our brain y'all well, okay it's about rap and music and entertainment but why every time I want to watch just some good music why it's always some religion in there because they understand who their God is that created music and the music that their God created is the music used against you as a weapon of what a false prophet because a false prophet is the one who gets you to sin against the most high the false prophet is the one to make you lose your blessings and end up in a pit of hell like most people right now on the earth are struggling you have no blessings upon you there are no blessings waiting for you because you have already sold your soul it's nothing for you to redeem and i told you that the so-called you know how most people talk about god i'm gonna tell you it's my opinion god is not with everybody or should i say the most high is not with everybody you think you're gonna do a whole bunch of foul shit and then you're gonna say the most high got god got me i'm blessed blessed by who the devil give blessings too the devil give blessings too the thing is he gave his blessings and he take them back he's a cheapskate <laughs> let's continue on greek and roman culture but it's called hip-hop now all right it's called hip-hop whatever you want niggas to embrace you just call it hip-hop sit what is the meaning of genre did i not tell you they created the genres they created music so therefore they created the genre you started hip-hop in the hood yes our people started it but when we started it, guess who came and took it? It created a genre out of it and created revenue off of it. Because I told you, they still created them instruments. They still, they the ones who created them big ass speakers. They the ones who created the turntable. They created the mixer. They created the microphone. They created the engineering board. They created the studio. That's they shit. You just was playing with their toys and came up with some shit. And then at the end of the day, they took it. Get it? British English genre genre is a particular type of literature painting music film or other form which people consider as a class because it has special characteristics that's why what do they do y'all what do they push all their agendas through paintings false paintings don't they they push their false agendas through what music what else do they push their false agendas through film get it what else? The arts, plays, that's how they push all their fucking agendas. That is their playing field of deception. I'm talking to the smart people today. This is high-tech information, but it's really basic and simple, to be honest with you. It ain't nothing spectacular. Now, look at DJ Khaled. I already broke this clown down of his blasphemous behavior. So why is a Muslim man, why is a Muslim man sitting at the table pretending to be righteous and playing with the scriptures why are they doing it that's the the number one question is why did they do this why why they ain't just rapping why they got to do all this extra stuff or sometimes the grammy's the one who prepares it and they just be the puppet to follow along then you're gonna see this nigga trying to promote ace of spades at the table ace of spades at the table that's supposed to be the last supper do you see the blasphemy that's why i say this nigga got a thousand curses on himself yeah, they're gonna they're gonna deal with him watch <laughs> watch y'all gonna y'all before you leave this planet you're gonna learn how the spirit world work for those who don't know but like i said back to dj Khaled, the clown blasphemous but i already showed you this the muslim man it's not wrong with him being a muslim which one are you nigga? are you a muslim are you righteous are you a dj are you a rapper who the fuck are you And who put you over the rap game? Who put you over the whole Florida? Who put you over Luke? Who put you over Uncle Luke? Who who made you the gatekeeper of Florida? Well, all the Florida rappers got to go through you or they ain't going to have no big career. Huh? Who put who put Jay-Z over the industry of New in New York? Who who put Jay-Z over New York so no other rappers will make it bigger than him? Who put him there? We know for a fact my people that know hip hop rap that been around from day one you know it was many people that was way better than jay-z way nicer where they at did they not most of them get blackball most of them got put on the back 
who put him in power as the gatekeeper of music over New York? Got to figure it out, but I already showed y'all this. I'm not going to go back into it. I'm just going to put simple questions on the table. Who put DJ Khaled in position? And my thing is this. Okay, if it's about rap, why are they always putting religion in it? Because they understand that religion is how you control the people. And when you take religion and you perform blasphemous acts, you curse the most high and you curse his people. And that's how you keep the curses going. You curse the people, you curse their God, and that's how you keep the curses going. It is called a spell. See? I told you these are shapeshifters. I'm showing you what a shapeshifter is. A man that can transform from a righteous Muslim at, the, at Mecca and transform into a rapper on stage with Jordan's on. Clowns. But don't take my word for it. Let's take a look at the book. Blasphemy. Luke 12. And everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. Meaning, you could, you, you, you can, that even tell you, you can uh disrespect certain people, but when you do certain things, disrespect the most high, that's your ass. Now look, allegedly, and everyone who speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemies against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. So they are committing blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit? I don't know. I'll just say the Holy Spirit is positive energy sent from God. The, the uh, natural energy, the natural energy of nature, the natural spirit of nature, the natural order in which things go. I'll just say that. All right. The Holy Spirit. I'll just say that. All right. Anyway. Matthew 12, 31. Look, therefore, I tell you, every sin and blasphemy will be forgiven, but the people Blasphemy against the spirit will not be forgiven. Why? Because they plan with people's souls. I told you it's spiritual warfare. They are playing with people's spirit. When I play with your spirit, now I can play with your mind. When I play with your mind, I can control your flesh. And at the end of the day, I can get all your money and leave you with nothing. Magic. And whoever speaks a word against the son of man will be forgiven. But whoever speaks against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. Either in this age or in the age to come. What is that telling you? They already committed blasphemy. So what does that mean? They have already set the timer on their clock, which means what? It's going to be a matter of time before they all fall. It's a matter of time. But it's going to happen because it already been written. It already been written. I ain't make this stuff up. Hey, I'm just repeating it. I'm just reading the script. James 2. But you have dishonored the poor man. Are not the rich the ones who oppress you? See, this is talking to you, us. But you have dishonored the poor man. Did they not dishonor the poor people? What's the poor people? The hood? The, 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 the uh, black and brown community? The people who are less fortunate? Do they not dishonor us? What do they do honorable for us? Nothing. What do they do uh, uh, honorable? Like I'm saying, is just, let me make this clear. I'm not saying they got to do nothing for us, give us money and co go through the neighborhood looking out for us, grown ass people. No. What are y'all putting down for the future generations? That's my point. See, if they was at least balancing out doing big things for the future, I had to respect that. Say, OK, y'all saw y'all saw y'all did a lot of foul shit. Hey, at least y'all make trying to make up for it by, you know, getting the future right. Is not this world going into technology. It's not children of many other nations all into technology the ones who are going to be controlling the world in the future well why are they not put no establishments in the communities for these young kids to start getting in tune with technology and learning what's really going on in the new world why are they not giving no courses and classes on economics to the youth see the youth need information now if they don't get this information now they're not going to make it like we did they ain't going to make it but this is my point but you have dishonored the poor man and not the rich. See? The ones who oppress you and the ones who drag you into court. Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you are which you were called? My point is this. These are the people that dishonor us. You feel me? They show love to the rich who oppress us. Are not the rich ones who oppress you? So they have become rich. 
So what does that mean? They are now the ones oppressing you. Why? Because they are with the oppressors. Do you get it? They're with the oppressors. Okay, who was the who was some of the oppressors in history? Well, the ones that uh allegedly uh put that man on the cross, they was oppressing him. Now you see why my brothers oh you see why my brothers have love and they override oppression and destruction because that's what it's about. See, but they was oppressing a man. It was a man that was born a certain time, or I think it was a fairy tale. I don't know, but they said it was a man that walked the earth and he was a righteous man. He did he did positive things, but they kept trying to oppress him. And when it was all said and done, they oppressed him so much, he ended up on a cross. But never forget one thing. They oppressed the man, but when it was time for him to go on the cross, it was his own people that got him put on the cross. Is that not how the story was written? Okay. They run with your oppressors. Because it's already been written. Anyway. As you see, but you have dishonored the poor man and not the rich the ones who oppress you and the ones who drag you into court. That is law enforcement. That is the powers that be. Those are the people always on our head. Anyway, that's just my opinion, all right? Revelation 13, it opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God. Blasphemy in his name and his dwelling, that is those who dwell in heaven. See that? Blasphemy. Disrespecting the most high on every level, on every level. And it told you this was going to happen in Revelation. That's why I told you the other day. If we in Revelation and we at the end of the book, you tell me what's going to happen next. Because the book is about to be closed. Some of y'all life is about to be closed. That's just my opinion. Look, it opened its mouth to utter blasphemies against God. That's all they do is commit blasphemy. And, and these are the ones that made you rebel and go against the grain. That's why most people have a curse on them right now. And the curse is death. But guess what? You could be living in the flesh and still be dead. You know why? Because you ain't accounted for. Yeah, you have no voice. Nobody cares when something happens to you. Nobody's going to help you. You're already dead. What, what you tell a person when you, when you cut them off? Man, you dead. That motherfucker dead to me. I, I dead at that nigga. That means it's over for you. Get it? So you could be dead and don't even and still be walking in the flesh, but you dead it in society. You're dead it in the world you're dead in spirituality you're dead financially you're dead who's what's the number one people that are dead okay my people that know the teachings we teach that 85 percent of the people are dumb deaf and blind we call them mentally dead that's the majority of the people mentally dead we call that a walking corpse a body walking around nothing in the head zombie that's most of our people ain't it but why are they zombies why are they dead because they went against the grain they went against the grain and chose the other side. Therefore, we say stay over there. <laughs> Don't come back over here. As you see right here, open his mouth to utter blasphemy against God, blasphemy his name and his dwelling. Hmm. What else to say right here? Also, it was allowed to make war on the saints and to conquer them. Who are the saints? Hmm. That's the righteous people of God, ain't it? God's people, right? So my point is this. They were able to create blasphemy and also this blasphemy is what put the curse on you, but they also was allowed to unleash war on your ass and conquer your ass. But they already did this already. But now they're doing it again because now it's the last day. And authority was given it over every tribe and people and language and nation. Huh? Do rappers not have authority? Over every tribe, people, and language, meaning people from all around the world bow down to rappers, bow down to entertainers because they're the false prophets that were going against God and got you to go against God. But they got you to rebel through music. But they were given authority. So key thing is, if they were given authority, what does that mean? That means the authority could be taken away. So I'm telling you, yeah, they got authority over you now, but eventually the shit going to get taken away. That goes for, oh, it's, this is not just rapper. This ain't just, this goes with a lot of different things. And you'll see what is the chapter, 13, 6. What are they two favorite numbers? 13 and 6. It opened his mouth to utter blasphemy. That's what they do. And it also was allowed to make war on the saints. Now you see why I kept telling you it was spiritual warfare? Now you see why I kept telling y'all it's a war that is silent without no weapons or guns? Y'all see things going on, but you ain't seen a shot get fired yet, did you? 
showing y'all, man, because it's all spiritual. What's spiritual? Man, this shit going on, you can't even see with your eyes. Period. But it's going on every day, round the clock. It ain't never going to stop. But you ain't going to see it, though. Why? Because it was already told you that the powers that be sit in high places. They sit in high places unseen. You ain't going to see them. Huh. Anyway, they was given authority over every tribe, people, and language. This also was the, was the information they used when they conquered and pillaged the whole planet. So when they conquered and, and pillaged the whole planet, they needed something to keep everything in order. That's what they use music for, to keep your ass in order. Meaning, don't get too smart. Don't you start trying to worship the other things. You make sure you focus on Apollo, all right? Now watch the Grammys and check it out. This goes to my people right here. It's already written. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit as your fathers did. So do you. What does that mean? Are not my people the most hard-headed? Are we not the most hard-headed on the planet? Stiff neck. Was it not written before that Moses had to blow people up because the old heads was too, too rebellious? He had to blow their ass up and get them out the way because they stiff neck. Every time somebody came to help your ass, you were stiff neck. Every time somebody tried to tell you something, you want to debate. You want to argue. You want to fight. Stiff neck. You stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in the heart. But you thought a penis was just uncircumcised. Uncircumcised means dirty, filthy, unclean, basically. It also represents the Gentile. The Gentile is who? The one who is not in accordance with the righteous people. Huh? The Gentile is what? Everything you see going on. All them people that say they proud, or that's Gentile behavior. In my opinion but look you stiff necked people uncircumcised in heart and ears meaning you don't have no compassion in your heart you are uncircumcised you do not comply when you hear the truth you want to fight and argue you want to go against the grain because you fucking stiff neck and you're uncircumcised and you fucking hard-headed just like your fathers did and that's why your fathers had to die and guess what's going to happen to the hard-headed people that stiff neck it's already written <laughs> it's already written it's already written. Now, mind, it's all my opinion, all right? That's it. Just take all this with a grain of salt. This is just my opinion. It is not no fact, all right? I ain't got time for nobody getting their feelings. You feel me? Because feelings ain't about shit. Dogs got feelings. Like I showed you, Kendrick Lamar's children celebrate his three Grammy Awards in heartwarming home videos. So what? What's my point I'm showing you? You see this man rocking his crown? Man, that is one of the highest forms of disrespect. At the same time, that is him embracing the Roman culture. Let's continue on. I didn't hear nobody talking about this. I didn't hear nobody talking about this. That what? Beyonce didn't even win album of the year. Why am I talking about this? Because this is another sign of the times, what I already told you, that what? The power that we so-called had in the industry, I told you, it is no more. It will never be another Beyonce. It will never be another Jay-Z. It will never be nobody making it successful from a, 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 a influence over the black community. I told you they switched the genre. I told you they switched the music. And I told you it's over for these niggas. Now you see. But I ain't seen nobody talking about it. Then I'm going to show you another false prophet from this clown. Jay-Z predicted Beyonce would win album of the year at 2023 Grammys. But at the end of the day, a man by the name of Harry Styles won album of the year at the 65th Grammy. So that was a smack in the face to Beyonce. You know why? They just tricked y'all stupid ass to come so they can get more views, dummy. They just used y'all. Why? Because y'all are fucking puppets. Puppets for what? Puppets to portray in the black community that he's a god and she's a goddess and we supposed to follow them and they make the best music. And man, they billionaires, man. <laughs> They be the billionaire. What the fuck they did for you? Like I told you the other day, you can tell me about them. You don't even know who your great grandmother was. You don't even know how your great grandmother married your granddaddy. You don't know shit about your own family, but you know about everybody else. That's why you're the biggest joke on the planet. Feel me? So all you're going to do is talk, 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 but ain't nobody listening to you. <laughs> That's why I told you. Don't nobody care about your comments and opinions. It's just the truth. You get it? <laughs> now, look, 
Harry's house, including the most prestigious award of the night, album of the year. This is the individual that beat Beyonce. I've never heard of him ever in my life. But I'm not going to say he ain't been doing his thing. But why nobody ain't say that how she got beat that night for the number one award that she thought she was going to get. See, they thought they was going to get the album of the year award. But their master tricked them. He just needed y'all to show up and get the, and keep it popping. See that? Why ain't nobody talk about this? I already told you that Renaissance album. You got to go look up Renaissance. Renaissance. The al- I'm going to just say this. The album was to uh, promote in it. Man, that shit did with world music. Her album catered to the rainbow community. I'm just going to say that. If we talk about the, the rainbow community, you'll see the fingerprints lead to Rome and Greece, period. But ain't nobody talk about how she got beat by this dude. <laughs> this might be the male Beyonce, where he from. This will beat her for the war. So we seen Chris Brown, one of your biggest icons, not win. You seen your biggest artist that you've been worshiping, not win. Why? Because this is the ceremony of Greece and Rome. This is the ceremony for, for Apollo. So he's going to make sure his people win and use your people as puppets. All right? That's why most of y'all tuned in. How Harry's house beat Beyonce. See that? It was a historic evening for the Beehive. See that? Why they was talking about a Beehive? Because that's a fucking cult. It's some bullshit. It was a historic evening for the Beehive in a Great Grammy for those hanging in Harry's house. Harry Styles won Album of the Year, the biggest prize at Sunday's 65th Grammy Awards. You see what I kept telling y'all? Yeah, these people are big, but they're not as big as you think they are. They're not the same people you thought they were. They are big, but only big to you in your nigger kingdom. On the world scale, they are becoming nobodies. When you going to understand that? You were given false prophets. That's why in the last day, they're not going to do shit for you. There were false prophets that were sent to take and make profits off of you. That's why they live a lavish life and you still in your situation trying to be like them. And you went astray from the path that you were supposed to be on. But anyway, hey, shout out to Harry Styles. (laughs) Shout out to Harry Styles because he won for those who like Grammys. Now, mind you, mind you. I told you he think he a fucking god, right? So look, he predicted in his mind, he predicted she was going to win. What does that mean? He made a prediction that she was going to win. That's why they pulled up and do all these events because they thought she was going to win. But she didn't. Which means what? He got finessed. Because he won it. <laughs> so I told you, even Jay-Z, yeah, you a bit, but they going to show you every time you, you still under their under they thumb. Jay-Z had eyed a Grammy win for Beyonce's album Renaissance. However, during the ceremony for the 65th annual awards held on Sunday, February 5th, 2023 in Los Angeles, the award for album of the year went to Harry Styles for Harry's house, which sparked quite a bit of backlash from Beyonce's fans. See, you always want to talk that black stuff. Well, they don't give to the black awards. You jackass, it's for the Romans and the Greeks. But you blacks want to be Romans and Greeks so bad but then again, it was black Romans and Greeks that were fucking sellouts anyway. And y'all want to be part of their culture so bad. And they're going to show you every time you are not us. We use y'all. Now y'all can chill with us. But when shit get real, y'all got to get the fuck out the way. And they're going to keep showing them that. <laughs> so I'm just showing y'all, man. That's this who she got beat by. So is he the new Beyonce now? Yeah, tell me that. If it's based on status, success, awards, is he greater than her now? Okay. What's my point also I'm showing you? I'm showing y'all, y'all. Whoever they want to make be a star, that's they can make whoever they want to star overnight. That's their game. They control this shit, so therefore they make, they make the rules and break the rules. The only reason why they made all those black celebrities from the 80s to now is because they needed them to control the black community through influence, brainwashing, uh, political ideas and things of that nature. Why you think when Hillary ran, the number one clowns that performed for Hillary was Jay-Z and Beyonce. And after they did that, they fucked up a lot of their credibility. And they be, I'm trying to tell y'all what they did, man. Because certain things are spiritual. You can't keep fucking with these people and then you're going against your people and you think you're going to be all right forever. Man, man they're getting an issue. What else been going on? 
They saying that Beyonce's sister is not rocking with her no more. They saying she, Solange allegedly is not paying her no more. She basically doing her own thing. Let's take a look at this. Beyonce is extremely close with her family members, and she and Solange used to be as thick as thieves. But many in the entertainment industry have noticed that Solange has been uncharacteristically absent from Bay's side recently. Now, this all alleged. One inside explained, we all thought it was odd that Solange wasn't a, pair, wasn't a part of Beyonce's new album, Renaissance. It's the kind of sound that's right up Solange Alley. So maybe she's trying to jack Solange's style. And maybe Solange said, man, I ain't rocking with her. Who knows? I don't know. And not only has Solange not been part of Bay's new project, she hasn't sent out a single tweet or Instagram post supporting Renaissance. A quick check of Solange's IG page and Twitter shows that she's only made preference to her own project. So she ain't even going out her way for her so-called sister. See that? But remember, I think she was the one there with the fight. My point is this. Solange ain't rocking with their ass like that. See? Look at Solange. Look at Natural. And we also noticed that Solange has not congratulated Beyonce for her Grammy wins the weekend either or posted anything promoting Bay's upcoming world tour. See that? She got over half a million likes. And Solange being a cut, chilling, humble, she only rock with them. Cause she knows some shit. She knows something. And she probably said, Look, I'm staying away from them because they got some shit coming to them. Feel me? She don't. This is another thing I want to show y'all. You see how you could be, I'm just giving an example. You can be like Solange and just put out your music. You don't care what happened. You don't got to care about no Grammy. You ain't got to care about being in the loop with them. You would just make your music, perfect your craft, focus on your particular fans, and that's it. It's like me. I don't come here looking to blow up. I come on here to, uh, Catered to my original supporters. I put on for my people. I told you, I come on here for y'all. I don't give a fuck about YouTube. I come here for the people. Meaning, this is my entertainment where we come together and get into some things and have conversation. Sparking thoughts. And that's it. We chilling. I don't care about what everybody else got going on. I told you, I don't care about no fucking views. Subscribe. I don't care about none of that. I don't care about nothing that is industry. See? Everything is an industry. YouTube, you got to get the likes. You got to get the views, the shares. You got to get subscribers. That's industry shit. I come on here, I just be me. I come on this shit. I say what I want, do what I want. I don't give a fuck. I just say what it is and I'm out of here. Pingo, I'm out, pew, gone. Y'all niggas had this shit all day. I'm out of here. I'm not an industry dude. You feel me? Anyway, industry means just following a certain way. Industry means a control way. That's all industry means, a control way. Control production. Control. Uh, you got to do it like this. No, I don't do nothing like this. I do it like that. I do whatever. I freestyle, all right? Anyway, followers follow the industry. And when you're a follower and you're in the industry, you're just another goddamn piece. on the, You're just another object. You're nothing, all right? So anyway, let's continue on to some more historical events that's going on. Like I said, I know a lot of people don't watch sports. What is sports? Sports was a major part of Greece and Rome. So in America, sports are very important. But what's my point? You have to be able to peep game because they speak in signs and symbols on all of their platforms, all of their genres. Yesterday, LeBron broke the all-time scoring record by Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Now, this was funny about this. What was LeBron's original number? 23. 23, right? I already told y'all. Tom Brady retired in his year 23. His 23rd year, he decided to retire this year. Hmm. LeBron James, his number is 23. He broke the all-time scoring record. But this is something else. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar broke the, broke the all-time scoring in the NBA in 1984. 1984 was the same year LeBron was born. Ritual. 23, 2023 is going down. They're showing you all the ritualistic events. Super Bowl this week. What was Super Bowl? What was football? What does the arena, the dome represent? Well, I could have sworn the gladiators of Rome played at the stadium, a football stadium, something like that, right? Ritual. They're showing you. Grammys. You feel me? Sports ritual. They're showing you all of their works. Guess who was at the game yesterday? Because while we on Clubhouse, I'm watching the game. Guess who at the game when he broke the record? 
Jay-Z, Floyd, all the elites was there to witness this. Why was all the elites there on this particular day? And I told you, when they have these events, those are disguises for them all to come together. And Jay-Z made sure he was there to give LeBron a hug. To make himself part of his history, and also for all you see, all of was there. Floyd, all of was there. These are major events. See, it's just sports, but you gotta understand sport and play. All of this shit go together. You gotta understand Roman and Greek culture. All these things were together. And yes, the sports was always the distraction. But you gotta remember all the like y'all know sports. What you think the pat on the ass come from? Roman and Greek. The difference is in Greek and back then they played sports naked. But all of it goes together. And my point is, you're always going to see that dude at the bottom. He loves to indulge in all that shit. But this my, this the kicker what I'm about to break down to y'all. The same exact time this game was going on, guess what really was going on? State of the Union address. I'm showing you how these people are working. I told you they was going to hit fast forward. I told you they about to lay down all their agendas. Now, guess what? Now, I caught a little glimpse of this, too. They beefing. I told you they beefing in the White House. They beefing. The government is beefing with each other. When Joe Biden was giving his speech, it was Republicans lashing out at him. Guess what they said, y'all? Because they felt like Joe was up there tap dancing, playing around. He said a whole lot of nothing. Guess what he was talking about? Taxes on the rich. He was talking about interest rates on credit cards. He was talking about a bunch of nothing. And guess what? Man, the Republicans started lashing out. Guess what one of them said? They was like, what's up with China? What's up with this fentanyl, Joe? And they had to, they had to, they had to clean that up. So I'm telling y'all, man, what's really going on. I done told you a thousand times. So it was people in the Senate, Republicans, was G-checking Joe live at the event, asking them, yo, Joe, what's up with this fentanyl situation? Why? Because fentanyl is the number one killer in America. I call it Fetty Wap, and it is knocking people out of their, it is knocking people out their system. Meaning, it's taking niggas' souls. The number one Cause of death right now. I told you C-19 was a distraction. The real killer is fentanyl. Because fentanyl is taking more lives every single day, every single day. The numbers ain't even being counted. I already told y'all this. Didn't the New Year start off against the boo ODN? But she ain't the only one. She's just a famous one. Somebody ODing off the shit every day. Because guess what? Use your brain. If Gangsta Boo got a bad batch, of fentanyl, don't you think that drug dealer pushed out packs to other people? Well, that means what? More death. It's just that it's not all being recorded. It's not all being told. Remember, a bad batch could be a whole kilo of bad dope. If that bad dope, bad co hit the street, man, that's a that's thousand people going to pass out. But y'all don't understand the game, do you? But anyway, the Republicans was calling him out. I told y'all this next election going to be the biggest election of all time. Because it's going to dictate a whole lot of stuff. That's my opinion. But I told you, you're not paying attention because you keep getting distracted. So while the real shit was going on, niggas was watching the game. Niggas was worried about the Grammys. But your life is in the hand of this man. A senator, well, no, a, a, a one of the new governors of Arkansas, they said that, they, they saying that Joe is don't need to be in office. They saying he is the leader of the crazies. They saying that all of them on all some crazy shit. Saying they all on a war path right now. Now you see why the country is shambles. Now you see why things ain't getting no better. Because they know Joe ain't about to do nothing good for the people. So if he ain't going to do nothing good for the people, who's going to be the number one people that pay the piper? While you're out here playing. Now you see why all of them are quiet now? But that ain't it. Five key economic points. In Biden's 2023 State of the Union address, his key points, Biden has been upbeat on his economic policies after recent reports showed near record, near record, low unemployment and strong job growth. That's a lie. But his speech showed he has broader ambitions to reshape the economy. See, he was doing a bunch of talking about nothing. He called for increasing taxes on the wealth, the wealthiest Americans in addition to curbing. Yo, Joe. Instead of increasing taxes on the rich, how not give a reduce of taxes to the poor? Would that make more sense for us? Because no matter how much you tax the rich, they still getting richer. <laughs> and they just still going to get bigger deals. So that ain't nothing, Joe. If you really want to do something, Joe, reduce the taxes of the regular people. 
Ultimately, in a divided Congress, it will be difficult for Biden to implement much of his plan the way he may hope to. See, this is how they play the game. Remember, they'll say they're trying to pass a law. Then they'll say, oh, man, they didn't want to sign it. But the whole time, they're playing a back and forth game. This is why I told y'all they're not giving you no damn reparations of $5 million. That's the case. Joe would have said it at the State of the Union address. If he ain't say that shit at the State of the Union address, that shit is cap. But I told you, you still going to believe everything they tell you, huh? You still wishing on a prayer. Still waiting on master to give you some, huh? He ain't give you shit but broken dreams and false hope. See that? Then I'm going to show you the real smack in the face. Why you ain't getting no damn reparations. Because they give it to everybody else. Miss Kamala Harris has popped out. Target Nestle will join $950 million pledge to Kamala Harris. Migration plan. Effort meant to mitigate root causing, root causes driving border surge. Pledges pushed overall to $4.2 billion from 47 companies. All this money is given to Kamala migration plan because this is the money that is going to be used to help the migrants get situated. There goes your reparations, people. You still wishing on a prayer? I told you these people ain't playing. But I told you they're going to tell you when they face what they're going to they gonna tell you in your face what they're going to do. I told you there ain't no damn secrets. Told you you worried about this and that and the third, but the real shit you keep missing. But guess what? All of this shit is marking something. This, all of this shit is the start of an ending. And the ending of who? Showing y'all right here. Showing y'all where the money going. Showing y'all they playing games. State of the Union address last night. But see, I ain't in the politics. I ain't in none of that shit. Well, you don't know politics, therefore you don't know the world, how the world is run. I'm not a political figure. I'm not in the politics, but I told you when they talk, I pay attention. Some kind of way, I'm going to pay attention. Anyway, there you go. You ain't vote for them. You ain't black. Well, guess I ain't black. And all y'all who voted, oh, salute to y'all black people. You get what you asked for, black people. All right, now, I'm clowning, but anyway, let's move on. Now, this thing I got to get into at the end of the show. This is no disrespect, but I got to put a nail in the, in the coffin real quick. I got to prove a point that a lot of my brown brothers and sisters, y'all are melanated. It is many melanated people across the planet. Even though melanated don't mean everything because of people that are melanated that are fucking ops. But I'm going to show y'all. Because the other day when I was talking about the Latina woman, I had people trying to tell me the difference between Latin, Spanish, Hispanic. I get it. But at the end of the day, there's no disrespect. I'm just going to tell you that's all wordplay. And I'm going to show you something. And you're going to get mad. And it's okay. But never forget one thing. When they pillaged America, the first place they pillaged slash brainwashed was South America. And beyond. They conquered that shit first, slaughtered that first, then it came up north. But America was one people, many different tribes. But a lot of y'all still like to say, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this, I'm that. It was all one landmass. But the people came and divided it. When they divided it, they brought religion and they brought their fucking language. But we're going to get into some stuff. All right. So pardon me. No disrespect. I love everybody. This is fact. But we're going to talk about some real shit. What is Latin? <clears throat> Latin is the language of ancient Rome and its empire, widely used historically as a language of scholarship and administration. A native or inhabitant of a country whose language developed from Latin, especially a Latin American. It comes from Latin, Rome. They started that. They created the word. They created Spanish language, period. But you think because you speak a certain language and you were brainwashed with a culture and a false flag, you think you better than people and y'all beef with each other. Puerto Ricans beef with Dominicans, Brazilian, brave Colombian. I'm trying to tell you all brainwashed by the same conqueror, right? He, he brainwashed them over here. He said, you will be African-American. He brainwashed them over there and say, you're going to be Spanish. You're going to be this. Latino. Could that be the Latins that conquered the Taino? Who knows? 
Did they get Latino from Latins conquering the Taino tribe and made up the word Latino? Who knows? But I'm trying to tell y'all something. You've been putting energy into the wrong shit for so long. Meanwhile, everybody getting foot up their ass. And everybody, I'm going to be honest, some of y'all Spanish people might be the most fucking racist too. I'm going to be honest. Because y'all were the first ones pillaged and y'all were the first ones that embraced that fucking shit and spread it to this day. But you don't understand, y'all brainwashed too. All right? Just like us. All right? Everybody fucking brainwashed. Get it? And this is divide and conquer. This is why to this day we around each other, but we can't get along because your oppressor made it where you will be opposition. The whole time he fucked both of y'all. You get it? Anyway, relating to or in the Latin language or Latin poetry, relating to the countries or people using language, especially Spanish, that developed from Latin. Where did Latin develop from? Ancient Rome. So you mean to tell me when they came to South America, the Latins, Romans conquered them and made them start speaking Spanish? Yes, they did. Man, I ain't got time to play with y'all. I don't got time to play with y'all. The internet is here for a reason. Do your freaking research. Stop talking dumb shit. You know why? Because that dumb shit is what's been killing us, y'all. When you gonna wake up? When you gonna wake up? Anyway, no disrespect. Hey, I just ain't got up. I ain't got to sit here and play. Who speaks Latin today? It's true that there are no native Latin speakers today, although it's worth nothing that Latin is still the official language of the Vatican City. Still, no children are born and raised speaking Latin. Why? Because the devil is crafty with his language and he transformed Latin into Spanish. These, this is when they first created Spanish. Of many cultures in the Iberian Peninsula, the Moors from Northern Africa, the Visigoths from Central Europe, and the Christians from the Roman Empire. These are the people that were speaking Spanish after it was changed from Latin. And these are the same people that pillaged the country, pillaged the world, the Moors pillaged South America, pillaged North America, and pillaged many other places. Yes, they did. And yes, they were black. But they had white friends, white family members, because I told you it's about bloodline. It is about the seed of Japheth and many others that have come together to conspire against certain people. And they already did it. They just, they just keep in, in order now. Okay, let's go back in history some more for you smart ass people. History of the Spanish language. Do you see the timeline before the year 100? Do you see? Then you'll see it transitions. Old Spanish, as you get past the 1300s, what does that say? Modern Spanish, but it comes from Latin, Roman Catholic. What is the number one church in South America, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic? Is it not the Roman Catholic Church? Or am I just talking out my ass? I love to do this shit. This shit fun, y'all. This shit fun. I told you, man, knowledge is fun. This shit is fun. It's fun. That's why it took me a little minute this morning. I'm going to let you see for yourself. The language known today as Spanish is derived from a dialect called spoken Latin, which was brought to the Iberian Peninsula by the Romans after the occupation of the peninsula that started in the late 3rd century BC. I showed you right here. When the Latins conquered this area, they created Spanish. That's why you have, everybody knows you got people, black as night that speak Spanish. Even if you go to the, the if you go to the original countries, they got they got dark skinned Spanish people. Dark, I'm just I'm just using these words, but they're all words by the fucking devil. We y'all gonna understand that English is the language derived from the fucking devil. We y'all gonna understand that he created English Spanish. But I'm showing you, for all you Spanish speaking people, it was black people speaking Spanish first. Black ass looking niggas. But guess what? They were all sellouts and they were fucking devils. So. I don't, I told you it ain't about color. It's not about color. It's not about color at all. It's about bloodline. It's about allegiance. You're gonna learn that. It's about God's people and the devil's people. Period. Anyway, that's my opinion. Influence, they got influence, and this is what spread it. What else? In the early Middle Ages, Hispano romance. Now you see where the word romance comes from? Romans. What you gonna do for Valentine's Day? Y'all gonna get romantic. But getting romantic is Roman and Greek culture. 
<laughs> and every February 14th, you run like your head cut off to buy somebody some shit that was created in Rome. Therefore, you're black. You're a native of this country. You're a bloodline of somebody else, but you're always doing what the fuck they do and wonder why you always fucked up and your romance get faded out, your marriage break up, all that shit. Because you're under a spell. <laughs> anyway, also, in the early Middle Ages, Hispaniola romance varieties borrowed. Check it out. Borrowed the substantial lexicon from Arabic. That's why anybody that know they shit, you'll know certain Arabic words that are close to Spanish words because it comes down to the vowel, the vowels. See, if you don't know about language, you don't know about vowels, you don't know about consonant, therefore you can't read words. You can't read ancient words to modern day words. You didn't know back in the day a C could be replaced with a B, an N. You could replace a consonant with any consonant, but the vowel will remain the same. All you got to do is look it up. Anyway, now let's check it out. Hispano romance, norm associated in the poly displays both Arabic and the most Arabic romance varieties in the conquered territories. Basically what it's saying, everywhere they conquered, they made them speak the language. <laughs> Told y'all, man. They made y'all racist too with all that all that other stuff. The Spanish language expanded overseas in the early modern period in the wake of the Spanish conquest in the America. That's when your ass started speaking Spanish. When you got conquered. How many times I told you that? But y'all still hold on to this shit. Oh, with this, with that. No, you all been you all been conquered and implanted by the seed of the devil. Just like everybody else. So you ain't special. The thing is, you need to start learning how to get along with each other and stop worried about I'm this, I'm that. That's divine and conquer that was taught by your by your oppressor. Do I must I show you? Bingo. South America showing you the Spaniard. You got to know dress. You got to know garb. This is when they was conquering South America. Who was that doing the labor holding them fucking trees? Huh? What are they complexion? And are they not copper colored people? I don't see no light skinned people. So I'm just showing you these are ancient artifacts. My point is this. This is the depiction of what was going on in the Americas at that time. And right here, they are in South America, getting conquered by the conquistadors. Stop playing. What color of people? Before they got raped. Before they got pillaged. Before they were called Spanish, Latino, Hispanic. This is what they was. Hey, man, people going to get mad. Oh, well, I ain't make this shit up. And Spaniards were black and white. They were both because it ain't about color. But I'm going to show y'all something else. Let's continue on. But I ain't finished yet. I love a challenge. Who is this? Juan Garrido. Who is he? A conquistador. He was from Spain and came over to America and kicked a lot of ass and slayed a lot of people. A conquistador. Do your research on conquistadors and you will see a lot of shit they was doing in South America or up to North America. When they got to North America, they got their ass ran up out of here. Who ran them out? The Pueblos. But you don't know your fucking history. You get it? South America was conquered first. So therefore, y'all the most brainwashed because y'all been brainwashed since the 1500s. Do you get it? And you can say all you want. I bet you I don't care who you are, where you're from. If you're from anywhere South America below, I bet you you was under the authority of the Roman Catholic Church. And that's why the natives of the land that really know what time it is, they get into the other stuff, that magic, that Santa stuff. You know what I'm talking about? The real natives get into that magic because they know. <laughs> anyway, black conquistadors. What is the name? Juan Garrido. Who is he? A black Moor from Spain. Spanish. Hmm? He spoke Spanish before any of y'all spoke Spanish. Why? Because you didn't speak Spanish until you got conquered. So before he conquered your ass, they were already speaking Spanish. And I already showed you the timeline of Spanish. See? See? 13 to 15. You see, when they got, when they got to the 1400s after Columbus, 15, that's when you started speaking modern Spanish. But before that, he was speaking Spanish and the rest of his clan. All of them. 
Columbus, all of them. See, they just told you about Columbus, but you don't know it's many, 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 many conquerors that came. They kept taking turns. Or oh, after Columbus come, now you're going to go. After you come back, now you're going to go. Then y'all going to go. We're going to send more ships and more ships. That's how they did it. It took them hundreds of years. I told you that. Statue. Who is this statue of? Hmm? Juan. Juan Gorido. See? The statue of the nigga that pillaged everything. See that? Then you got to know signs and symbols. Whenever you see a black statue, that represents a black face. See, you ain't never noticed that. You got colored statues. You got regular statues. Yeah, when you see a colored statue, that represents a colored person. Then you see statues that look bronze, brass, black. Huh? Even sometimes it, you get it. Now I'm about to really bust your head. Shout out to the people in the building. Yeah, it's Black History Month. I'm going to give you some real black history. Because people don't want to understand the game. That what? All that shit is a lie. All of it's lies. Everything is lies. It's a lie. We all got pillaged. We all lost. We all from the same land, just different tribes. But they came and conquered everything. So what that mean? To this day, you're still arguing and fighting about shit they created. Now, let me show you something else. Let me bust your head real quick. What is this? A black conquistador. Who is he talking to? The Pope of Rome. Oh, is this when he gave him the sanction to come to America and kick ass and rape and pillage? Yes. I'm going to show you something else. Whenever you see ancient art with that glow around their head, that represents they were a god or enlightened one of their time. See, when you were dumb, you didn't get a, you didn't get that glow around your head in the picture. When you were smart or you were somebody of importance, you got that sun around your head. That represent the god on a, that represented God on a planet. See that? Then go back and look at all them pictures that you'll see. You'll see what's, what I'm talking about. You will see the glow around the head. That represents the illuminated one. Because only the illuminated ones at that time had status. The dummies were just the dumb ones. But it sounds like now, don't it? The illuminated ones are straight. The dumb ones are fucking lost. Just like back then. Anyway, this is one of the great conquerors. Here is a book. Black conquistadors. What's in the background? Natives. Moors. I told you, niggas. Only thing that happened was, after they did a lot of killing, a lot of the Moors, they just stayed in America. They became landlords because the Lord was the one that worked for the king and they got first dibs on the land and had to pay taxes back to the king. That's where landlord come from, dummy. And some of the first landlords were Moors. Some of them. I don't got time for this shit. Stop fucking reading and stop running your goddamn mouth. Who was the first black conquistador? Juan Garrido, a.k.a. Handsome John, was a free African conquistador who worked along Ponte de Leon for 13 years. But I'm going to show you the cap. They always got to throw that African shit in it. That's some bullshit. He was an African, but he was chilling in Spain. He was raised in Spain. He was a conquistador. He was with the shit. Either way, call him African all you want. That nigga spoke Spanish. And he spoke Spanish before the whole South America, before the whole Puerto Rico. He was speaking Spanish because black people were speaking Spanish way before. Because it's not about black people. It's not about race. I'm just showing you. If you want to play the race game, color game, all right, we play that. I'm just showing you that whole Spanish shit. It's some bullshit. And I showed you the people that started the shit. And I showed you the people that started is the one that killed your ass and your ancestors. See that? This is a picture of Othello. This is Othello right here. Othello. See? What else I'm going to show your ass? What are those symbols right there? Are oh, that's not the symbols of the Ku Klux Klan? Hmm. For those who know, is that not the symbol of Knights of Malta? See, if I really was on my shit, I would show you the so-called white man dressed up in them garments, them gar them garments with them same emblems on, Knights of Malta. But what else I'm going to tell you? Well, when your ass start paying attention and you start doing your research, when your ass go back to see them ships that came from, you know, the Nina, the Pinta, Santa Maria, you go look at them ships, you're going to see them symbols on it. Because when they came, they came to pillage shit. Man. I told y'all, man, I've been doing this shit forever. I ain't just start doing this shit off no damn internet. What do you see? The African origin of European civilization. Oh, shit. African origin of European civilization? What does that mean? You mean to tell me that Europeans were civilized by Africans? Oh, shit. Do you see how that white girl is looking up to that black man? 
Well, you got to know is one thing. They were all family because you'll see the Spanish conqueror in the back. See that helmet? If you don't know garments, you don't know what that shit mean. When you see in the back, that was from Spain. Then you also do know about the story of the Moors uh, conquering Spain and things of that nature. But it, it, it was going on. Man, black and whites was mingling in Europe way back then. Before before they conquered it, uh, Spain and all that. Anyway, we cooking this morning. I'm just showing you. It's people that don't like us and they've been conspiring since day one and they still conspiring. And most people are fucking brainwashed. God did not co-sign none of this shit. Sebastian Torrell, who was African warrior who helped Spain to conquer the new world. What's the new world? America. See, Sebastian Torrell. I done showed you more than one. I can show you a bunch of conquistadors that came and conquered. But see, when they flip history, they made it like it was just Christopher Columbus and he had some flunky black people with him. Nah, it was some other shit going on. It was bloodlines coming here to conquer shit. Who was they coming to conquer? I think it was God's people, I think. I think they was coming to get the people in the land of milk and honey because it was said that a lot of God's people was over here in gold. But little did you know that you're the goal. Huh, ain't no more gold around, but they still holding you hostage, ain't they? Because they said that you was God's precious jewel. Maybe that's why they came. <laughs> anyway, let's continue on. What's my point? I'm not set tripping on black history. I'm not set tripping off none of this shit. I'm just showing you. All you people that's caught up in that Spanish, Latino, Hispanic, they were speaking Spanish before you even knew what it was. When they conquered y'all, then you started speaking Spanish. And when they gave you the language, then they gave you the name Latino and Lat Latin. Should be right in your face, man. And more, also what I'm proving to people is that it was blacks that came and fucking pillaged this shit. It was so-called African, so-called you black European, whatever the fuck you want to call them. I told you they're the ones that came and killed everybody. Why? Because they understood the language. They, a lot of them were Hebrew. They got to know the scripture. A lot of them were Hebrew, but they were Hebrew snakes because it goes back to a time where, let me take y'all, let let, let's go back. Noah had three sons. Who were Noah's three sons? Japheth, Shem, and Ham, right? What's the thing you'll see? You'll see these circles overlapping. What does that look like? It looks like the symbols of the fucking Olympics, don't it? But it shows you that all of these three tribes were family but they were still interacting with each other. And then one day, all these families were fucking beefing with each other. And then when they finished beefing with each other, they said, let's come together and go pillage the goddamn Americas. Let's go smash on America. That's what they did. See that? Showing y'all, man. This is showing you how it's never been about race. It's been about bloodlines of people. I've been telling a lot of these dummies this forever. It ain't about race. It's about bloodline. But you didn't study. You don't fucking know shit. Your knowledge come off the fucking internet. You ain't never read a fucking book. And you can't use the internet correctly. So therefore, you just argue and still speak your weak ass opinion when the facts is right here. And you didn't read the book. Because you don't know about Genesis. You don't know about genes. You don't know shit. You just run your fucking mouth. But I showed you. Allegedly, these are the, the three uh, sons of Noah, right? That became on to be what? Nations, right? But my point is, all they did throughout history was keep changing their fucking names. And then they conquered you and changed your fucking name. They are the masters of the remix. I told you that. But these people are part of the conspirers. They just part of it. They ain't even all the conspirers. That's just part of them. Just showing y'all this shit. I'm done. But let me go back to the top of the top for people that just pulled up. Because I see they pulled up. They want to know, they want to know how God did not blasphemy. God did not make you God over the people. You did, nigga, in the industry. You ain't nobody. Why? Why they want to sit at the table and portray like he's the most high? So he sat at the table like he was Jehovah and had his people around him like they was having the last supper. But I'm going to ask y'all a question again. If this symbolized the last supper, who is getting ready to die? Because according to the scripture, a last supper was given called breaking bread because he knew about the betrayal. He bet y'all know the story, right? But who's the people to this day being crucified? 
Who's the people to this day getting put on a cross every fucking day? So is that why they doing this ritual? To symbolize that we about to put these niggas on the cross? Because I see double crossing, triple crossing. I see <laughs> niggas taking a fall. And all of them were false prophets given to you that led you a fucking stray. So when I said the game is over, you know why the game over? Because they did their job already. Job well done. Look how many clones Lil Wayne got under him. Look how many generations he has influenced. Look how many generations Jay-Z has influenced. He still got niggas in their 50s worshiping him. DJ Khaled is a gatekeeper of, of, of the South now. Who gave him the power? Who gave these blasphemous figures their power? The powers of Rome. And I already showed you. He has the crown on, the reef. But the reef represents Apollo. Apollo is the Roman god of music. I'm going to show you again. Music is from Rome. Greek. The, you know the people you say you hate? You always talk about the white man this, the white man that, but you love his fucking music, don't you? You love his genres, don't you? You love their ass, don't you? So stop getting mad when your life is fucked up because the people you don't like, you keep supporting. That's why you're the biggest fucking hypocrite and the double talking is dumbest person on the planet, according to record. They say, Haha, we keep putting our foot up their ass and they keep supporting us at the same time. <laughs> we send these people out to deceive them and they keep buying the damn tickets. <laughs> Who are we going to send next? So when you're crying, nobody listens. Why? Because you're the same people that was inflicted pain thousands of years ago. They just keep the shit going. And they got your people to sell out. Apollo was the Roman god who inspired prophecy, poetry, music, and medicine. You heard about Big Pharma, right? Well, who you think sits over Big Pharma? Hmm. See, I'm talking farm for certain people. They ain't going to get it. Apollo was the Olympian god of prophecy, oracles, magic, music, song, poetry, archery, healing, plague, and disease. C-19, I already told you that. All that shit, AIDS, HIV, cancer, you get it? That's uh, all right. He was depicted as a handsome, beardless youth with long hair and attributes such as a reef and a branch of laurel. The reef is right here. The reef represents the crown. Apollo is represented as a king. He is the god of music. And the, every king on the planet had to pay, pay homage to Apollo. Just like I told you, every celebrity had to get to a certain level. When they're at a certain level, they got to go do the Apollo. That's how they pay homage to the false god. But it is the god of music. That's why you'll see, I'd like to thank God. I'd like to thank God and get that award. I'd like to thank God. But they never say their name, do they? They just point up, don't they? See the reefs? The reef in ancient Greeks and Rome was the crown. And you'll see throughout time the crown evolved. Do you see that? The crown evolved. And when they made a mockery of Jesus, they put one of them on his head. And it was a torture device. But that was that was their symbol they put on his head. <laughs> and yes, Jesus did get double crossed. Who double crossed him? Judas and a few others. What's going on to this day? Ain't you still getting double crossed by your own people? Hmm? Okay. Didn't DJ Khaled commit blasphemous acts? What the hell is that on the floor? What the hell is they doing? And why the hell they got motherfucking, uh, why they got Ace of Spades at the table? Oh, that's supposed to be the wine, huh? Mockery. And I'm going to tell you this again, when you play with certain spirits, whether you agree with it or not, you still putting a bad calm on yourself. That's my opinion. But anyway, let's continue on to this clown. See that? A nigga, a nigga about to be 50. One minute he's a Muslim, but he rocking Jordans. He just got a new Jordan deal and released a new Jordan shoe. Guess who DJ Khaled is banking on buying all his sneakers? <laughs> So what is this nigga doing? He, okay, you in Mecca, you pay a homage, ain't nothing wrong with that. But then why the fuck you come over here and you trying to sell our people this bullshit, nigga? And why are you over here committing blasphemy, disrespecting people's religion? You asked me that. Mockery. 
Y'all know if your grandmother would have seen this stuff, they would have had a fit. Y'all know this. But all this is to blast the most blasphemy the most high. They made sure they had an all black because they showed you their allegiance. They all pledged allegiance and they had to perform and show it. So, yes, it was a ritualistic ceremony. And I'm asking you a question like I asked earlier. Okay. Oh, it's just about music and rap. Why do they keep putting religious stuff in the music? Why every time it's a visual, they got to always put some religious in it? Y'all ain't figured that out yet? Because that's how they curse God's people and disrespect the most high. See that? And everyone who speaks on what speaks a word against the Son of Man will be forgiven. But the one who blasphemy, blasphemes against the Holy Spirit will not be forgiven. But you have dishonored the poor man. Are not the rich the ones who oppress you? Ask yourself the question. Who's oppressing you? Who keeping their foot up your ass? Is it not the rich? Hmm. Did they not dishonor the poor man? Are they not the ones that act like if you ain't spending no money with them, they ain't got a time of day for your ass? Huh? Do they come back to the neighborhood? Do they do anything positive? Do they do anything good? No. They show you who they are, right? Are they not the ones who blaspheme the honorable name by which you were called? Does that clown not call itself Jehovah? <laughs> blasphemy. It opened his mouth to utter blasphemies against God. Blaspheming his name and his dwelling, that is those who dwell in heaven. My point is this, 13, 6. What are their numbers? Is not 13 one of their numbers? Is not 6 one of their numbers? Are we not in the last days of revelation? Well, now you see why they opening up their mouth to speak blasphemy. It's showing you the sign of the times. I know how to read signs and symbols, therefore I pay attention. Anyway, I'm just talking shit. Once again, to the people, you stiff-necked people, uncircumcised in heart and ears, you always resist the Holy Spirit, and your fathers did, so do you. What does that mean? In my opinion, you're stiff-necked, you fucking hard-headed, you always going against the grain, you always following, you're uncircumcised in your heart. Everything you can think of is fucking foul. Everything you can think and do is unclean. That's your whole lifestyle. So you, that's it. But it's not your fault. You got misled. But then again, it is your fault because you're a follower. You always resist the Holy Spirit. When truth being spoken, you want to always go against the grain, huh? You think you're going to argue your way out of everything, huh? Well, I told you can't argue with a fool because guess what? That fool will one day meet his demise. Get it? And that's on him. Because I told you some of these people are just like their father, the devil. Therefore, you can see the ways of their father through them. Those are the ones who are always going to go against the grain. Therefore, as you see, there is no color in this. What else I told you? What else we talked about? We talked about how nobody spoke about how Beyonce did not win that Grammy and she lost to this guy, Harry Styles. <laughs> but I'm laughing because they thought they was going to win. That's why they went. So what did that mean? The people who put the Grammys together tricked his dumb ass. Yeah, got tricked because they needed y'all to promote the Grammys. They knew a lot of people wasn't going to watch unless y'all was there and y'all went. And y'all performed, y'all entertained, y'all indulged because you ain't go, Jay-Z, because you ain't because you wanted to go. You go because you had to go. Jay-Z predicted Beyonce would win album of the year. I guess you ain't Jehovah, is you, nigga? I guess you ain't God. You can't even predict if your if your girl gonna win an award or not. You tried to make a prediction, but that shit was a false prediction. You know why? Because you's a fucking fraud, nigga. That's why. <laughs> and they smacked you in the face by giving the award to somebody else and say, F you and your wife. The same people that been cutting your checks for years, the same people that been cutting you and Beyonce checks for years, this is how they spite y'all and telling you what you know they telling y'all? It's not about y'all no more. Same thing I showed y'all yesterday with Chris Brown. They showing them it's not about y'all no more. Beyonce, we can replace you so fast. It is nothing to us. You get it? This will be Beyonce for the album of the year. Harry's house. You feel me? Just showing y'all. You only worship them because they was given to you. Now the people that gave them to you, showing you, man, these people ain't nobody. We made them who they are. And I told you, 
little by little, they coming for Beyonce and Jay-Z. All you got to do is remember it was a time they wouldn't speak no bad about them. They shielded them. They kept them out. The, you know, they kept them safe. But now they got some other shit on their hands. And you got to remember something else. They have pissed off all the Republicans of the country. Because the Republicans did not forget when they was running, not only campaigning for Obama, they was campaigning for Hillary too. And a lot of Republicans didn't forget that. That's why they're scared too that Republicans going to come back in office. And that's why when LeBron James was breaking that record, Jay-Z was right there too. Because he had a performance this ritual. But while this ritual was going on, I told you the real shit was going on. At the same time, Joe was giving a State of the Union address. And he said nothing about black people, nothing about brown people, nothing about poor people. That nigga didn't say when gas going down. He didn't say with food going down. He didn't say no type of budget cuts. He ain't say none of that. All he said was he's going to try to, he's he going to make what rich people pay more taxes. That's it. But while he was talking, I told you, somebody Republican interrupted it and they said, well, Joe, what's up with you in China? What's up with that shit you got going on with China? And what's up with all this goddamn fentanyl flooding the streets, ruining our kids? That's what was said. But I told you fentanyl, one of the biggest secrets. And that's why you had to be distracted so you won't know what's going on. But God forbid, you better pray your kid don't touch no fentanyl. And your kid going out here trying to be a rapper, listening to rap, fuck around and get slipped something laced with some fetty, and your child going to be dead. Because that's what they're perpetuating. Remember, months ago, they showed us, they put out a report of, what, 2 billion people might be reduced on the whole planet. Remember, they told us that. They told you. Well, how you think part of that work going to get done? That's the question. Anyway, I'm done. I'm just tripping, y'all. Just my opinion. I'm just, I'm just having fun today. All right, that's it. So anybody in their feelings, you're mad. So what? Sometime I might hear, I might come up just to make you mad. That's what I do. Cause in order to get that lock off your brain, I gotta hit that lock with a fucking hammer. That's how it's done. I can't try to break that lock on your brain with some water. I gotta hit that shit with a hammer. Wake your ass up. You feel me? Now you gotta take that lock off yourself. All right, that's what it is. No disrespect. New York Lynx, what's good? Big Phil, what's up? What's up, Raquel? What's going on? That's right. All I'm saying is this, y'all. My opinion, we were watching this thing play out play by play. They have an agenda. The agenda is a destination. Every Each and every day, they're trying to stir the crowd. All of their paid influencers have to work overtime now because 2023, in my opinion, is going to be the year where they're going to put a lot of work in because certain things have to be fulfilled before Joe leaves office. So that's just my opinion. But all you got to do is pay attention. Brian P., what's up? Chris Miller. Man, it's a lot of smart people out here. I'm telling you. Salute, A. But, God, you got to remember this. The small is always going to be the minority. Just understand that. That's why it's called elite. If everybody had it, if everybody had the same thing, it wouldn't be elite now, would it? We call them the elite because they just know what you know not. And they all stick together. It's a group of people that know a whole lot of stuff that you don't know, and that's what makes them elite. But they only elite because they made everybody else ignorant and dumb. That's the, that's what made them elite. You get it? They ain't special. I told you they ain't special. All right. What's up, y'all? What's up, Lauren? Becca, what's up? MTF gang. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion if you didn't already. Told y'all we putting this work in. Salute, T-Love. All of y'all. Everybody here. I see my whole family in this thing. And I see some new people too. This is what we do. We build in the morning. That's right. Look, in a world of chaos, look. You got to have some type of focus, right? We fighting every day. But this the only fight. This the last fight. And guess what? You got to win this shit on your own. Like I said yesterday, 
everybody got to fight their own fight, and then we'll meet up at the end. We'll meet up together. But you got to get through this shit on your own first. You got to get you got to get through it so you can make it. If you don't get through this shit, you ain't going to make it. That's my opinion. So the shit is clear as day, y'all. What? Every day you wake up, you have freedom of choice. Nobody wakes up with an AK-47 to their head telling them what to do. Everybody wake up, free will, free to do whatever you want. So, therefore, it's nobody to blame. What's the number one thing, y'all? People don't want to put that work in. They don't want to put the work in. They want shortcuts and they want shit given to them. What's up, Colleen? Good morning. They stick together and Jay's been having business discrepancies. Yeah, that's why I say that's the start of his ending. I'm going to be honest. See, I know how they work. Once you start seeing them getting bad press, bad press, bad press. See, if you notice him and Beyonce be getting a lot of bad press. That's how it starts. Remember, it's an ancient technique of media used by media Persia. Ancient times, they, they, they had slander campaigns. They put slander campaigns on, on, on the enemies. If you, if you understand the Nazis, they did the same thing. It's a, it's, a, it's a formula. You start with slander. You start with false images, meaning you start picking and chipping away at their name, which makes them what? Lose credibility at time. Then after that, you start oppressing them more. And after a while, you go watch. Just wait, just wait and see. They already humiliating them right now. When Beyonce came to get that award, she got humiliated. She ain't get it. Get it? Jay Z beefing with companies. Yeah, together they're a billionaire. But I told you, Kylie Jenner got more money than them. Kylie Jenner is a billionaire. Rihanna's a billionaire. So yeah, they're billionaires, but they ain't the only ones. But I still showed you the list of trillionaires, <laughs> and I showed you people that you don't even know that's multi billionaires. So if you think it's worshiping people because they got money, well then y'all need to be worshiping Jeff Bezos and shit. You like to worship people that got a lot of money, right? Well, fucking worship Jeff Bezos. Because that's who Jay-Z worship. He worshiped Jeff Bezos, Warren Buffett. They're on the trillionaire list. That's who he sucks off and get on his knees. Get it? See, when Jay-Z in a room and you come in, you a peon. When Jay-Z go in a room with Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, Jeff Bezos, he's a peon. So what does that mean? Somebody's roof is always somebody else's floor. Because it's levels. You just look, you worship them on their level because you at a fucking very low level. So everything up high look good to you, don't it? <laughs> but everybody down with the most high understand we over everybody. Something like that. Y'all do the y'all know the cliche. They profited from the world, but they lost their soul. <laughs> What they say, if you have everything on the, on the earth, it's going to be nothing left for you in heaven. That's what was said. So don't feel bad. Some of y'all might be going through hell now, but maybe one day you will, you will be rich. You'll be rich when it counts. Because everybody that was rich nowadays, that was rich in the 90s, that, that shit don't even count. How many people we see that was rich that are now broken poor? They had their riches already, didn't they? So therefore, there's nothing else stored for them. And they sold, they sold. <laughs> you got to keep your soul so you can cash it out to the right place in the right place. Feel me? <laughs> anyway, man, I'm just talking. You got to, when you save your own soul, you actually put money in your spiritual bank account. <laughs> when you do good deeds, see, I do good deeds. I don't look for money now. All the good shit I do, I put that in my spiritual bank account. Why? Because the good shit I do one day will have a blessing for me later when I need it. See, most of y'all niggas chase money. Y'all chase every fucking thing. Therefore, when you get caught up in some shit, you have no more blessings. There's nothing waiting for you. See, I don't want shit up front. I'm going to put the work in and then on the back end, when I need it, I'll, I'll receive my blessing when it come and however it come. I don't chase, I don't chase shit. That's why a lot of y'all ain't got no fucking blessings. You has nothing stored up for you. But a lot of us been saving our blessings. We've been counting our blessings, saving our blessings, all that. See, you got to have a, a spiritual financial bank. <laughs> and most of you are spiritually bankrupt and morally bankrupt. That's all, man. Salute to everybody. Boulevard, what's good? You already know. All right, y'all. What's up, Jamila? 
I just want to make sure I holler at everybody. Dramatic, what's up? This is what we do, y'all. That's right. You got to store your treasures in heaven. <laughs> A lot of y'all don't know that. They don't know the game. That's why you'll see them other people, they want all their riches now. Why? They know it ain't shit waiting for them later. That's why. Dummy. <laughs> That's why they created a world of luxury. They created a life of luxury, a celebrity, and lavish lifestyle on the earth because they know one day they ain't going to have shit. It's over for them. They know that. That's why they have dominion over the earth now. We had dominion over the earth. They came and stole that shit. Now they got dominion over the earth. So guess who's sitting on the throne now? Now you see why that nigga put out an album called Watch the Throne. And you see why his partner was calling himself Jesus. He was Jehovah. And the whole time they were committing a fucking mockery. And then they started doing this bullshit called verses, playing around with the scriptures, verses, verses. It had you niggas indulging in verses. But why everything? The question is, why everything they do got to do with religion and shit? Why everything they do got to be spiritual and stuff out the Bible? Did you figure that out yet? But y'all thought it was just music, right? No, false prophets paid to take your profit. That's right. The Rockefellers, DuPonts, that's right. Some of the royal bloodlines. And we got to remember this too. Many of the royal bloodlines changed their last name. So that's why there's a lot of people walking around and we don't really know who's who. Because that's one of their masters. That's one of their, their formulas. Always switch the name. That's why even y'all know, wherever you from right now, I bet you they change the name of your neighborhood. Every so often, every couple of decades, they start changing street corner names. They change names on apartment buildings, neighborhoods, cities. That's what they mean. That's their that's they thing. It's called a remix. That's why I said America ain't America no more. Your hood is not the same hood you grew up in. That's a different hood. That's a different city you from. They don't remix the shit. You ain't figured out yet. But they've been doing that since the beginning of the time. They wipe the people out and remix the city. Or remix the city, then wipe the people out. One, one, They're they going to do one of the two. That's what they do. That's why I told you. Never forget. The great replacement shall continue. The great replacement is going on right now. So when one person is disposed of, I told you, they got people already waiting. The question is, when are they going to unleash all the immigrants? <laughs> you figure that shit out. Guess who's going to be the new people in the hood? Guess who's going to be the new people working all the jobs that you don't want to work? And guess who all going to be replaced with AI? So there you have it. All right, y'all. I've been on here long enough. But I did come on late. That's right. But the, the whole thing is we them people. That's right. We them people. So that's why we get so much hatred. We get so much hatred because it was written that these particular people was God's favorite and he got blessings for them. He going to get them everything on the universe. Everything is for y'all. He said everything is for y'all. I give y'all everything. All you got to do is act right and you straight. So when other people heard that shit, they said, oh, hell no. That ain't about to go down. And they made sure they kept their foot on the people who was made that promise to. And they keeping that shit going all the way to this day. You know, that's my opinion. Somebody should make a movie on it. <laughs> man, oh man. Life ain't all about money. The son of God was walking. Was walking. Jesus could have easy. Jesus could have easily had a Lamborghini. <laughs> that's right. He could have had a whole. He could have been on a horse, camel, whatever. He was showing humility. But see, you never going to reach humility when you got ego. Ego is a trait of the devil himself because the devil thought it was all about him. That's why his ass got kicked the fuck out. <laughs> he mad to this day because he thought it was all about him. So the most high had to show that boy, look, get the fuck up out of here. Do your own thing, nigga. So he, he did his own thing and created his own gang of minions that we see to this day. Niggas named Jehovah and the rest of them niggas. Yeah. That's right. That's why I don't have no problem giving money to the homeless at times that's right jason that's what's up yep i've been giving away clothes all type of stuff this winter yep anyway y'all that's it for the day uh shout out to the replay gang uh share on different platforms don't forget to subscribe if you're new leave a comment you don't gotta agree just be respectful See? 
sit. Other than that, episode 368, we straight, we finished, we done. Y'all have a good day. Y'all stay blessed. Y'all stay right. Y'all stay focused and live your life. I'm out.